Most of I think of is, of of the every pre-season, every forward just wants to get going in the games. There, you're probably the same at the moment. No, hundred percent. You know, it's uh, we haven't had a pre-season in two years. You know, yeah, and so it was good to just come back and work a bit on the stuff that you've been um, lacking in maybe in your game or conditioning wise. You know, so no, the bodies are looking fresh. The guys are hungry for this one, and uh, no, we just want to play rugby, as you say. Familiar enemy to start off with. You guys know exactly what to expect. We played it each other enough in the last couple of years. Are you expecting anything different from it? No, definitely not. You know, it's always physical when you play the Lions there, particularly that Alice Park, you know, they're a proud union and they don't, they're not going to take a backward step. You know, they're going to be, I think all teams want to prove a point in the first game. It's always easier when you get off to a winning start, to build a bit of momentum going into the tournament. And I'm sure this weekend won't be different, you know, so it will be a, a physical clash. You guys have got quite a few new faces around here. Some, some good depth being added, to, added there. How those guys fitted in from your point of view? Yeah, I think that's the perks of the preseason as well, the six weeks. You know, you kind of build a bit of a chemistry on and off the field. And you can see they've blended in well, you know. Um, they look like they're enjoying it and hopefully uh, they can show it in, over the weekend as well. Particularly some guys playing against the old unions, you know. So, no, it will be a, be a tough game. Your, your forward pack obviously has got a job to do and it's always going to be the, the part that people focus on. You've got some nice, nice speed outside again now. You maybe lost one or two guys, but the guys you got in can really get some strike power. Are you guys looking to give them a good platform? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, look, they always say it's all cliche. It starts with the forwards, you know. So if we, we know we've got a dangerous backline, you know, and some cool, some cool heads and um, key playmakers there in the backfield, you know, which they can show them magic, you know. But it's up to us as forwards, as you say, to lay the foundation and. Um, the way we want to target this game, it's, it's like every game. If your seat pieces function, it just makes it easier on the day. And yeah, no, that's how we will dress it going to this game. Last one for me, last season, you guys were one of the most penalised teams in the competition. It didn't stop you from reaching the final, but that surely has to be a work on that you guys have addressed in the offseason. Yeah, 100%. You know, um, you, put your you put the team under a lot of pressure when you give away soft penalties. And uh, some key games we lost because of um, poor discipline. And that's something we address in the offseason as well how we can be uh, better communication with the refs, you know, what they want, what pictures they want as well, and how we as a team must take ownership of that, you know. So now we, I think we've took some huge strides, but first two games, three games in the USC might be a bit rusty, but it's all about finding your momentum quick and early and uh, just con continue building on that. Now. Just on the preseason, <coughs> Marcel, a lot of people always talk about now you need to have a couple of warm-up games behind your back and stuff, but do you almost believe you guys have played so much rugby actually that it's actually better to rest in this preseason, given just how it's almost like Yermakar, you know, the the schedule has been over the past two years almost. Yeah, yeah, I think um, it's the first time we can have a proper break, you know, and then the coaches thought it, it would be smart to give us six weeks off to let the body recover um, to the utmost, because if you look at the format this year, you know, we're playing three tournaments almost, you know, and uh, I think they were thinking ahead of that, you know, it's important for the bodies to get rest and, uh, you know, by the way we're training these days, it's like you're playing games in the week as well, you know, so, you know, we did a bit of a conditioning games uh, last week, Friday against each other, you know, just to get that blow as well. And yeah, it's like you say, you know, it might be rusty the first couple of games, you know, just to get your rhythm. But uh, the quicker the teams adapt to that and find the rhythm, that will be the, the secret to us. You're one of the few local players who actually has experience, you know, of playing on two fronts with Ulster. Just what of the lessons you've learned, you know, and that you're looking to apply to your, or just the wisdom you want to share to your teammates about coping, you know, on playing almost on three fronts now? Yeah, I think the key words, uh, you have to adapt whatever is in front of you. I mean, if you take one weekend, you're playing a Welsh side, the other weekend, you're playing an Irish side, and they bring both different structures and systems how they want to play, you know. So it's a, it's a very um, hard work, you think, off the field as well, getting your preparation right for that. And it's about building rhythm and chemistry within the team as quickly as possible. Um, like we learned last season, you know, you have to win your home games, you know, if you want to be in contention, maybe for a playoff spot, home playoff spot, which is um, vital, you know. It's one thing we identified last season, you know, you, you can't uh, expect to play playoffs away and come back and try and win it you know you have to be at home and uh, that's what we're targeting this season as well and just lastly you two actually missed each other um last season you know and now circumstances brought you back how's it been you know sort of like having marco back in the system that's exactly the type of caliber of play you actually want in the local system back actually 100 percent. you know i know marco's only been a year abroad but he knows what the what the sides are there about you know and that's the experience he can give back to the juniors as well you know and for him just as a person off the field, great to have him back, he's a proud Vodacom Bulls man as well and his um, rugby talks for itself, you know, he never takes a step backwards, you know, loves the breakdowns as well and that will come in handy, you know, we've seen how turnovers and um, turnover penalties can win you games, you know, and even finals, you know, so no, we'll be looking to expose that now. Awesome. Awesome. Buy a donkey.